One good thing about snow is that it makes it easier to pick out wildlife. Unless you're looking for something like an arctic fox, it's pretty easy to pick out the bright colors of birds, especially when they come to the ground to forage. That's when you find another potential clue, the footprints they leave behind. But birds have to remain wary while they're on the forest floor because there are larger animals prowling through the undergrowth. Some of them make their homes on the edges of our lakes and rivers. Fortunately for these birds, they don't have to watch their back with beavers. These creatures are primarily herbivores, but there are carnivorous creatures stalking their way through our forests, like this canine taking his owner for a walk. I talked to the owner and he actually told me that there were foxes in the area. His dog had actually tried to play with them, which would have been a terrible idea. Nonetheless, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for these wild creatures. In the meantime, let me show you one more furry creature I encountered. For some reason, I was fascinated by this poison ivy vine covered with a thin layer of lichen. Algae cells dominated this environment, but there were also tiny ciliates swimming through the films of water that covered the poison ivy. As if poison ivy weren't bad enough, here's just one more thing to make you itch as you walk your way through the woods. I'll leave you with that thought, because that's all the time we have for this week. If you want to see more of my work, check out my YouTube or Instagram, where I have all sorts of cool wildlife content. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week.